in this video today we are watching another episode of I didn't know I was pregnant. They numbed me, put oxygen on me, and I was having a baby. And she says, you're fully dilated. What does that mean? <laughs> that means you're having this baby right now. There is no stopping it. I was in full labor. <laughs> That's crazy. Hi, I'm Denise. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting again to another episode of I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant from TLC. If you haven't heard of this show before, it's a documentary on TLC. The women, they get all the way to the moment of childbirth without even knowing that they were pregnant. Alright, let's get started. Jessica is bouncing back after ending her marriage of 10 years. Oh, Jessica, that's a nice name. She's moved in with her younger sister, Berenice, and is trying to get her life back on track. That summer, Jessica starts dating a man she met online. I wasn't using any contraception. I just assumed I wasn't able to get pregnant. She assumed that because when she was married, Jessica spent almost a decade trying unsuccessfully to conceive. I did want kids, but it just never happened. I had gone to the doctors, I had tried pills, I had tried shots, so I had given up on having children. 30-year-old wow. Jessica's seeing the man she met online. She also misses her period, which is very unusual for her. Mine were very regular. I was every 28 days. When I didn't get my period, I did take a pregnancy test, but it came out negative. Aww. Jessica has recently lost her job and thinks her missing period must be stress-related, so she throws herself into searching for work. But her efforts are derailed when she begins to experience stomach problems. My stomach would always be hurting, and I didn't know why. I would get constipated, I couldn't go to the bathroom, and I thought my intestine was giving me problems. Jessica makes an appointment to see a holistic healer. Holistic healer? The holistic healer that I go to said, you're fine. It's just your hormones are probably all unbalanced because of your stress. And that's probably why I didn't get my period. How does she know? I don't know what a holistic doctor is. She gave me herbal supplements to take just to help my digestive system. Jessica still hasn't gotten her period. In November, when I took another pregnancy test, it showed that it was negative. That's weird. Jessica's stomach pains continue through the winter. And on February 25th, she wakes up feeling worse than ever. I just had so much pressure in my stomach. I felt like I couldn't breathe. She's like, can you just please massage my stomach a little bit? Kind of lightly touched her and I said, oh my gosh. Her stomach felt very hard. I need you to go to the doctor's now. Jessica returns to the holistic healer. So I lay down and she started massaging my stomach. And I was like, well, what's wrong? And she's like, Jessica, this isn't your intestine. This is a baby. She goes, this is a baby. You're pregnant. She takes out this little machine. She puts the earphones on me. And she's like, listen, this is a heartbeat. <laughs> Do you hear that? I started panicking. I was like, I took pregnancy tests. They were negative. I would think the same thing, too. How am I pregnant? You need to go to the hospital. I had resigned of even thinking of being a mom or to have children. And then all of a sudden, they're telling you that you're pregnant. Jessica calls her mother for help. Mom. And 10 minutes later, they arrive at the emergency room. They brushed me into the ultrasound room. Doctor says, you're about 33 weeks along. You're 33 weeks pregnant. The doctor said, we're going to try to keep this baby inside of you as long as we can. But the pain starts getting a little bit more, a little bit more. When they started tracking me, she says, you're fully dilated. What does that mean? That means you're having this baby right now. There is no stopping it. I was in full labor. That's crazy. They go from, they got to keep the baby inside her as long as possible. Then she's already ready for labor, ready for the baby to be delivered. Hi again. It's me, Denise. Just jumping in the middle of this video to see if you like this video so far. So if you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you like so far about this video. And subscribe the subscribe button is right over here and most importantly hit that bell that way you get notified every single time I upload which is every other day okay let's jump right back into this video I'm panicked I'm crying and I can hear the doctors and they're just we need to do an emergency c-section because the baby's in a breached position when a baby is breech or about to come out feet first its head may get trapped in the birth canal the safest option is a c-section so doctors rush Jessica into the operating room Wow. They numbed me, put oxygen on me, and I was having a baby. Within minutes, doctors deliver the baby, a tiny 4-pound, 11-ounce oh, boy. Oh, my God. Is it 4 ounces? The baby wasn't crying. It's scary because, you know, you're waiting for that cry. Oh, that's not good. They put oxygen on him, and then you finally hear him cry. Oh, snap. 
You can't explain the feeling. <laughs> but doctors are worried that the seven-week premature baby doesn't yet have fully developed lungs, so they rush him to the NICU. Delivery at 33 weeks can result in several complications of prematurity, the most common of which is that the lungs are immature, leading to something called respiratory distress syndrome. It can be a very serious situation. I never had any prenatal care. I never went to the doctor. I was outside working. If I would have known I was pregnant, I wouldn't have done the things that I did. One of the risks of doing heavy manual labor during pregnancy is the possibility of delivering preterm. Jessica's sister, Berenice, rushes to the hospital to oh. comfort her in this difficult time. My worst fear was she was going to lose a baby. You're just thinking, if anything happens, what are you going to do? You know, you're just thinking all the bad things. Yeah, I feel like, I guess it would be hard not to think like negative and bad things in a situation like that, especially when you don't know. When they came in to tell me that everything was fine with the baby, that he was on oxygen only for a couple of mm. hours then he's breathing on his own it just felt like all my stress just went <laughs> out the window oh, oh, that's good i was excited i was just very happy doctors allow jessica to visit her baby in the nicu oh, look at him. oh he has a lot of hair he is being fed through a tube in his nose so he can gain enough weight and strength to leave the hospital oh he's so cute you love that little person so much that you just never realized how much love you could have for someone i named him angel Raul. he's my angel an angel that i never thought i would have so how did jessica go almost eight months without knowing she was pregnant wait they said that she had the baby at 33 weeks that eight months i don't know maybe it is I don't know how I could have known my pregnancy test would come out that I wasn't. Baby Angel is released from the hospital after three weeks. And today, the five-week-old is in great health. Oh, five weeks? Jessica is raising him with the help of her family. Oh, uh, he just brightens your day. I'm lucky to have what I have. That he's healthy. That <laughs> It looks like you don't know what's going on. I have a child. <laughs> a child. I never think it out. And now I have a healthy baby boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, watching these makes me so excited for little tiny cute babies. Oh, give this video a like if that baby was cute. I think it's so weird. There's stories like these where they take the pregnancy test and it's still negative. I feel like that's so crazy. I wouldn't know what to believe. Or I wouldn't even think I was pregnant if it was negative, you know? And it's like you can't even blame them because they literally didn't know. And I think it's smart, too, for them to take the pregnancy test also. But it's just wild when it's negative. Like, that part, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. But I'm glad that he was healthier. He got released after a month or three weeks, they said. But that's good. He's so cute, so adorable. I'm happy for them. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below your favorite part, and share this video with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. The subscribe button is right over here. And hit the bell. Most importantly, hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload, which is every other day. Also, check out the links down below. The links to my social media and on my channel, make sure you check out the playlist that I have for my painting videos or my photography videos. Subscribe and join the family. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!